Whether you're planning a St. Patrick's Day party or want to add a touch of whimsy to your front porch, Seattle Goodwill's DIY guy Gary Foy has some sweet budget-friendly ideas. Gary, it feels like spring in here. It does. I brought it inside. You literally did. What is this? This is a desk sanded down, and now it's a raised bed for great apartment living or, or outside on your porch. What do you have going over here? So I like to use exterior paint when I'm doing anything for the outside. Okay. So I had some extra uh, terracotta pots, painted those, and then this is great for an entryway. Hello and welcome. That is so cute. And moving on here, I mean, are these actually meant for office supplies or? I think that they are. Every time I see these guys, um, I always think I want to bring them outside because they have holes in them and they're metal. Now you can spray paint them, but all you'd have to do is you can pour water and it'll drain right through. Okay, this looks fun. You know, it's more of that distressed, you know, uh, patinaed kind of look, and we sell them for really great uh, prices. You want to stretch your dollar? Come on down to the Goodwill. Gary, I've heard of going for the gold, but you went for the green and gold. <laughs> I did go for the green and gold. And then it's just nice, I guess, to kind of Put some festive touches like these shamrocks. Are these available at Goodwill? They are. Uh, they are actually. Um, hats are available. Little signs. Okay, Gary, I'm feeling it. A uh, St. Patrick's Day craft coming on, and that's no blarney. Ah, oh, no blarney. What are we making here today? What are these guys? These are the infamous pots of gold. What do we need to make these guys? Terracotta pots, spray paint, Mod Podge, and glitter, Ooh, and then yeah. Rolos. Rolos. You got to have the Rolos. Got to have the Rolos. All right. So what you want to do is print out a shamrock. Just cut it out and then you want to just adhese it to the pot itself. Okay. And then, and then all of a sudden, once it's on there, we're just going to hit it with some spray paint. So they're done. They're done. Now you have to do is just peel the little guy off there, a little shamrock. Okay. All right, Molly, I've got to kick out the infamous Mod Podge. Real easy to do. All right, I got yourself a little brush here. Okay. And then we're just going to fill in the shamrock okay. with some Mod Podge. Okay. Fully, right. I'm fully podged here. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. Just get the glitter on there, easy peasy, and then you're gonna put in the Rolos. All right, here we go. And then all of a sudden, here comes the gold. Yay! Whether you believe in leprechauns or fairies, it's easy to make darling DIY homes for your favorite mythical creatures. You have those pots outside, right? And you know, sometimes throughout the season, they get broke or broken or chipped. Don't throw them out. Okay. We're gonna repurpose them and make something fun like the fairy pot, so it'll be good. All right, so what you're gonna need is definitely some pots. We got a hammer, screwdriver, and a Sharpie to make the base. Okay. So let's get started. So the reason why I'm putting the Sharpie there is I'm gonna have to have a line to kind of follow for my hammer okay. and give it a good- Give it a whack? Give it a good whack. Okay. You can hit my thumb, it's okay. Don't, <laughs> Don't worry about my thumb. Perfect. All right, so what we want to do, I like to create little steps okay. within my imaginary fairy landscape. Right. I'm going to start pushing down on the dirt as well, and then you just want to start building your second layer. All right, William, now you want to do is pick your characters and their scenes. So let's pick. I got a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go with Kitty, I think. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Okay, Gary, we got it done. I want to hear all about your fairy pot. Uh, my fairy pot, it went a couple different turns and ways, but you know what? There's a lot of space still, and there's room for rent. What do you got going on? Well, I kind of went with a cat theme. This is where the cats hang out on the catios. It's a catio! Yeah. It looks great. Good job. High five. Thank you. You nailed it. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined.